Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. I am Dr. S. Prince Mary, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. So, today uh, we are going to see about the conversion of NFA to DFA. So, first let us see the formal definition of DFA. Okay. So, DFA is nothing but a deterministic finite automata. So, finite automata is divided into two types broadly deterministic finite automata and non deterministic finite automata. Right. So, what is deterministic finite automata? It has pi tuples. The deterministic finite automata is a state machine with pi tuples followed by Q, sigma, Q naught, del and A. So, Q capital Q going to be a set of all the state in the deterministic finite automata and sigma is nothing but a set of input symbols and Q naught is the start state and A going to be a set of accepting states and del is a transition function which is denoted as del of Q star sigma tends to capital Q. That means from one state for one simple we can have only one transition in deterministic finite automata. Right? The same way the second type of finite automata is non-deterministic finite automata. Okay? So, the non-deterministic finite automata also has same set of tuples like deterministic finite automata. It has phi tuples capital Q, sigma, Q naught, A and the transition function del. So, what is the difference between deterministic and non-deterministic in terms of transition function it shows the difference. So, the transition function of NFA is Q cross sigma tends to 2 power Q. So, 2 power Q is nothing but a power set. Okay? That means from one state for one symbol it can have more than one transition. Okay? Say for example, from the state Q naught for the symbol A it is going to Q1 as well as Q2. So, it can have more than one transition in non-deterministic finite automata. Okay? So, with this let us see if a non-deterministic finite automata is given how we can convert that to a deterministic finite automata. Okay? So, let us take up a problem over here. So, the state diagram of NFA is given here. The state diagram shows that in NFA there are three states Q0, Q1 and Q2 and the corresponding transitions over the input symbol. So, let us denote that state diagram through a transition table. Okay? So, transition table consists of the states Q0, Q1, Q2 and the input. Input is nothing but sigma 0 and 1. So, from the state Q0 over the symbol 0 it is going to two states Q0 and Q1. Okay? So, you can see in the diagram Q0 over the symbol 0 it is a self transition. So, the result is Q0. Then from Q0 this over the symbol 0 it is going to the state Q1. So, the result is Q1. Okay? The same way rest all transitions are added in the transition table. So, transition diagram and the table both are showing the same content. Right? So, let us move to the problem of converting this given NFA to a DFA machine. Okay? So, the NFA transition table is shown here. So, first of all we need to identify the start state of DFA from NFA machine. Okay? So, as per the condition the start state of NFA is will be the, the start state of DFA. Right? The start state of NFA going to be the start state of DFA. Okay? So, what is the start state of NFA? The start state of NFA is Q0. The same state going to be the start state of DFA machine. Right? So, first step is we are adding up Q0 of NFA to the DFA machine. Okay? So, now we have got one state of DFA machine. Right? Q0. So, from Q0 here we need to identify the transitions over the input symbol. So, the what are all the input symbols here we have is 0 and 1. So, from Q0 what is the transition over 0 
as well as from Q0 what is the transition over 1 we need to identify. Okay. So, first let us identify from the start state of Q0 we are finding the transition over 0. Okay. So, when we look at the diagram or the transition table from Q0 it is going to Q0 and Q1. Okay. It is a subset. Okay. So, this collection we are giving as a new name. Okay, we produce, we give a new name over here that is called the state A. Okay, so the same way we are going to find out the transition function from Q0 on 1. Okay, so from Q0 on 1 the table shows that it is going to the state Q1, right. So, it is again a new state, so we give a name as B. Okay, so here it is found that from Q0 the diagram shows that from Q0 over 0 it is going to the state capital A, from Q0 over 1 it is going to the state capital B. Okay. So, till now what we have found is we have found the DFA machine with how many states? 3 states are there Q0, capital A and capital B. Okay. So, we found 2 more new states apart from Q0, A and B. So, from each and every state again we need to find out the transition over the input symbol 0 and 1. Okay. So, let us take out the state A, right, from capital A, okay. So, what is the transition over 0 and 1 we need to find out, okay. So, let us see from capital A over the symbol 0 what is the transition, right. So, what is capital A? In the previous step only we found that capital A is nothing but Q0 and Q1, okay. So, del of Q0, comma Q1 over 0, which is equal to, we apply 0, the input symbol 0 on each and every state. So, del of Q0 on 0 union with del of Q1 on 0, okay. So, when we refer the transition table, del of Q0 on 0 is nothing but Q0, Q1 union with del of Q1 on 0 is nothing but Q1, Q2. Okay. So, when we apply union between all these three states, all the states we are getting the result as Q0, Q1, Q2. Okay. Q1 two times it is present as we know that union function we will be removing the duplicates. Okay. So, now we have got a new collection of states. Okay. Right. See here in A state we have uh, we found the set as Q0, Q1. In B state we found the set as Q1. Now, we have got a new set Q0, Q1, Q2, so which is not available already. So, we are giving a new name called C, okay. So, this state name is C. So, from A we have completed the same way from the state A over the input symbol 1 also we need to find out the transition, right. So, when we are finding the state from capital A over 1 which is equal to Q0 on 1 union with del of q1 on 1. So, refer the transition table q0 on 1 is nothing but q1, right, union with q1 on 1 is also nothing but q1, okay. So, when we apply union of these two, we will get the answer as q1, right. So, now you can see already we have found three states, fine, a, b, c, okay. So, q1 is a set which is already we found it as capital B, okay. So, we need not to give a new name, we need to use the existing name, okay. So, Q1 going to be a state capital B, right. So, now as of now, what are all the new states we have found? The state Q0 is the start state, capital A, capital B and capital C, right. So, now from the capital A, we have completed the transition. Now, we are going to iterate the same step for the state B as well as C, okay. So, now let us iterate the same step from the state B, okay. So, from the state B what is the transition, right. The state B what is the transition del dash of Q1 comma 0 is equal to Q1, Q2, okay. Because you can see it is a single state. So, Q1 on 0 when you refer the table Q1 on 0 is nothing but Q1, Q2. Okay. Again, it is a new set which is not available already. Okay. So, we are giving a new name called D, right. The same way from the state B, we need to find the transition over 1. 
okay. So, q1 on 1, what is the transition table shows? q1 on 1 is q1, right. So, q1 is a set which is already named as capital B. So, we are using the same name, right. So, from B also we have completed. Okay, so again we have found two more new states. What are the new states we have found here? B and C. Okay, B, C, D, right. So, totally uh, there are five states Q0, capital A, capital B, capital C, and D, right. So, let us see a, a transition, uh, the DFA, deterministic finite automata state table, right. So, from Q0 over 0 and 1. Okay, it is going to capital A and B, then from capital A over 0 it is going to C, from capital A over 1 it is going to capital B, right. Then from capital B over 0 it is going to the state D, from capital B over 1 it is going to itself, so self transition, right. So we have completed now the transitions for 3 states. Q0, A and B over. So, what are all the states? Again, we need to find out the transition here. Yes, we have to find the transition over C as well as D, right. So, we iterate the same step, the third step, okay. So, from the state C, we are finding the transitions, okay. So, what is the collection and the states which is present in C going to be Q0, Q1, Q2, right. So, we take del dash of q0, q1, q2 over 0, okay. So, we need to apply 0 on each and every state, okay. So, del of q0 on 0 union with del of q1 on 0 union with del of q2 on 0, okay. So, now you have to refer the transition table. Refer the transition table q0 on 0 is nothing but what? q0, q1. q1 on 0 is nothing but what? q1, q2. So, q2 on 0 is nothing but q2. So, when we apply union between all that, we are getting a collection q0, q1, q2. So, this is a set already we have given a name as C, right. So, we have to use the same name over here. So, what is the state name here? It is going to be C, right. So, C on 0 we have completed. Similarly, we need to find out the transition over Z on 1, okay. So, when we find a C on 1, C state is nothing but Q0, Q1, Q2 over 1, okay. So, let us apply 1 for each and every state. So, del of Q0 on 1 union with del of Q1 on 1 union with del of Q2 on 1, right. So, when you refer the table Q0 on 1 going to be Q1, right. Q1 on 1 going to be Q1, right. Then Q1 on q2 on 1 going to be q1, q2. So, when we apply union of all these, we are getting the answer as q1, q2, right. So, q1, q2 is a set subset which we have already find it as a state name D, right. So, we have given a name already as D. So, let us use the same name over here, q1, q2, right. So, from C, when you look at the transition over 0, it is a self transition over 1, it is going to the state D, right. So, till now we have found the states are Q0, capital A, capital B, capital C and D, okay. So, till C we have completed. Now, we are going to iterate the same step from the state D also, right. So, from the state D, what is the transition function? So, the state D going to be Q1, Q2. Fine. So, Q1, Q2 go over 0 we are finding. So, Q1 on 0 when you refer the table it is Q0, Q1, Q2 on 0 going to be Q1, Q2. So, when you apply union of all these Q2 on 0 going to be Q2, right. So, when you apply union of all these Q1, Q2 and Q1, okay. So, the result going to be Q1 and Q2. So, Q1 and Q2 already we found it as a state D. So, we are using the same name, right. So, what is the another transition we need to find? We need to find the transition from D over 1 again, okay. So, what is the transition? D is nothing but Q1, Q2 over 1. So, Q1 on 1 union Q2 on 1. So, Q1 on 1 is nothing but Q1, Q2 on 1 is Q1, Q2. Again, we will get answer as Q1, Q2. It is again the state name called D, right. So, 
once you finish from D state, okay, again it is having a transition over 0 and 1 going to be a self transition, fine. So, let us see the transition table over here, we have found 5 states, okay. So, from the first state Q0 over 0 going to capital A over 1 going to capital B, from A over 0 going to C and over 1 going to capital B, from the state B over 0 it is going to D and over 1 it is going to B, fine. From the state C over 0 it is going to C itself, over 1 it is going to the state D, fine. From the state D both the transitions are self transition, fine. So, we can, we are, we need to stop the problem. The third step over here, why? Because we do not have any more new states, okay. So, from all the states we found the transition, okay, we did, we are not finding any more new states. So, we are stopping the third step over here, okay. So, with this now we have converted the given NFA machine to DFA machine, okay. So, NFA machine was given us with the three states, okay, and the transitions DFA machine what we have found is shown here, right. So, now with this we have to find out the final state. What is called final state? At which state when you reach at last the input is accepted, okay, that is going to be the final state. So, what is the final state which is given in NFA machine is Q2, fine. So, this state Q2 is present in what are the, what are all the new states? When you see the new states A, B, C, D, okay, which set there is Q2 state present, okay. So, whether A is having Q2, no, whether B is having Q2, no, whether C is having Q2, yes, okay, then whether D is having Q2, yes. So, C and D going to be the final state of your converted DFA machine, fine. So, when you are marking, the, how do you mark the final state? We need to mark it with a double circle. The states C and D going to be the final state. So, whatever the NFA machine given, okay, by applying this procedure, we can convert to a DFA machine. Yes, thank you.